Are you tired of doing routine, mundane IT tasks? Things you have to do over and over, like change passwords or provision another virtual machine for someone. I'm Dave Hagenbarth with a company called Pliant.io. And Pliant is a low-code, no-code platform that allows you to produce this type of automation without having to write scripts. The great thing about Pliant is if you've already written Ansible playbooks, you have PowerShell scripts, you can bring those to a secure platform as well. Let's take a look in the demo. Welcome to the Pliant Secure Automation Platform UI. Our UI has been designed to be as simple as possible because we believe that the power of the product is in the ability to quickly create infrastructure automation. The home page is a speedometer of sorts, showing the number of automations completed over the last day in the upper left panel and the number completed in the last five minutes on the upper right. The bottom panels show the past five successful automation runs on the platform and the last five that have failed. Using Pliant as a secure platform allows you to govern all of your automation via the log files generated. We show you who ran the automation, when it started, when it finished, and most importantly, the results. There's a log tab at the top, which will show you all of the automation output over a specified period of time, and also a scheduler tab for scheduling all the automation you've created. Lastly, under Administration, you can configure settings such as Single Sign-On or Active Directory or add users directly to the platform. Role-based access is a large part of our security and that can be configured here as well. Let's take a look at how we can quickly build secure automation with Pliant's drag and drop blocks. Here we have the Workflow Canvas from which we can build out our low-code automation. On the right, we have more than 70 plus supported vendors slash integrations completed today. The Pliant team typically introduces two or three new vendors every two weeks, and we offer a 15 business day SLA to our customers free of charge to integrate any publicly available vendors API, so you always have the blocks you need to develop your automation. Let's take a look at AWS for example. If we click into the AWS folder, we then see different AWS subfolders broken out by different functions. And from there, we can click into a function such as EC2 for creating compute. Inside the folder are all the blocks required to create the compute in AWS. We have similar blocks for Azure, GCP, and on-prem solutions such as VMware, OpenStack, and even open source platforms like Proxmox. To create automation, we simply drag a block onto the canvas fill in the required information, and run the workflow. The Pliant UI helps users navigate additional API parameters with the object editor seen in the middle of the screen. We simply fill in the required fields, then push Run to create our VM in AWS. If you've already created automation using Ansible playbooks or PowerShell scripts, and you want to run that automation from a secure platform that offers role-based access control, you could simply drag the Ansible or PowerShell block onto the screen and paste your playbook or script directly into the block. Once you've created the automation required with drag and drop blocks and have clicked the save button, Pliant automatically generates a RESTful endpoint that you can call from other platforms to execute the automation you've created. This feature allows you to easily tie together automation you have built in Pliant with systems like Datadog or PagerDuty or ServiceNow simply by cutting and pasting the URL from Pliant into a webhook form, which would then run the automation you've created in Pliant. Your automation might combine AWS EC2 blocks, which create a virtual machine, and maybe a set of Ansible blocks or PowerShell scripts that further configure the VM and then return the results to the Pliant Secure platform. Now you can create automation in minutes and get almost an instant ROI. Pliant AI figures out the amount of time each workflow will eliminate from your day and drives a dashboard that displays the time saved by your automation. Lastly, Pliant gives you an interface with role-based access control to run all of your automation from. This allows non-automation builders to instantly take advantage of automation created to run your business. All they have to do is fill in the required information and push execute. To sum it up, Pliant is a secure platform which allows you to quickly create low-code, no-code automation while providing role-based access and full logging and governance.
For more information, visit us at pliant.io. I've also put links to additional information on Pliant in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new demos and webinars as we add them.